In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on surface areas and volumes of combinations of solids. Well, we've got a question here which involves a pen, pens and pen stand. Let's see what it is. It says that a pen stand made of wood is in the shape of a cuboid, right, with four conical depressions to hold the pens. You know, these are the depressions that we're talking about in the green here. So these are the depressions in the wood in which the pens stand, right? Those are in the shape of a cone. So the dimensions of the cuboid are 15 centimeter by 10 centimeter by 3.5 centimeter length, breadth, and height. The diameter of each of the depression is one centimeter. You know, this length is one centimeter. That's the diameter. Okay. And the depth is 1.4. The vertical height is 1.4 centimeters. Right. So let me enlarge this thing for you. What we get is something like this, right? So we've got one centimeter diameter, and the height, this one, is 1.4 centimeters. This is what we're talking about now. So now, what we have to do is we need to find the volume of the wood in the entire stand. So it's very simple, nothing much here. You know, all you have to do is just find the volume of the cuboid, the wood, the cuboid wood, or the wood cuboid, or whatever. And then subtract, find the volumes of these cones here, four cones, and then subtract these volumes from the total, you know, the volume of the wood. That's all we have to do. So let's uh, start solving the problem. So the, first, let's find the volume of the cuboid. So volume of the cuboid is length into breadth into height, which is nothing but 15 centimeters uh, times 10 centimeters times 3.5, which is 525 centimeter cube. So the volume of the cuboid is 525 centimeter cube. So now it is given that there are four conical depressions such that the radius of each depression is 0.5 centimeter. The diameter is 1 centimeter, but the radius is 0.5. And the depth is 1.4 centimeters. So now let us find out the volume of these cones now or rather the volume of the depressions what is the volume of these depressions volume of conical depressions there are four such right so it will be four times volume of each cone is uh, 1 by 3 pi r square h right so we've got 4 times 1 by 3 times pi is 22 by 7 and the r is 0 0.5, right? The diameter is 1. Note, the diameter is 1 centimeter. Here it is, the diameter is 1 centimeter. The radius is half of the 1 centimeter, which is 0 0.5. Since it's r squared, it's 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. The height is 1.4. So solving this, we get approximately 1.47 centimeter cube. You solve this, this is the volume. So the volume of all the four conical depressions comes up to 1.47 centimeter cube. So what is the volume of the wood that is present in this stand? It is going to be 525 centimeter cube minus 1.47 centimeter cube, right? So let us do that. Therefore, volume of wood in the pen stand is equal to 525 minus 1.47 whole centimeter cube. So that is nothing but 523.53 centimeter cubes. So therefore, the volume of the wood that is present in the pen stand is 523.53 centimeter cube. So before I end this video, let us quickly solve another problem, another simple problem. So yeah, before we conclude this video, we've got another problem which is here, which reads like this. A solid iron pole consists of a cylinder of 220 centimeter and base diameter 24 centimeters, which is surmounted by another cylinder of height 60 centimeters and radius 8 centimeters. Find the mass of the pole given that 1 centimeter cube of iron has approximately 8 grams mass. So again, it's not a very new kind of a problem. All we have to do is find the total volume and multiply it by. 8 grams because 1 centimeter cube of iron weighs 8 grams. So the volume that we are going to find is going to weigh how much? That times 8 grams. That's all. So now we have to find the total volume of iron in two cylinders, which is equal to 
let's take the bigger cylinder first its volume is pi r square h plus let's take the bigger one as you know rb the big one and the smaller one is rs so rs square h centimeter cube right so now let us substitute the value let's keep pi as pi for time being now the radius is 12 because the diameter is uh, 24 centimeter the figure also says the radius is 12 so since it's rb square it's going to be 12 times 12 times the height which is 220 plus pi times the smaller diameter is 8 so 8 times 8 times the height is 60 centimeter cube so now next step is pi times 12 times 12 is 144 times 220 plus pi times 64 times 60 centimeter cube so let us take out pi now we get 144 times 220 plus 64 times 60 centimeter cube on solving this you get 355 two zero pi centimeter cube that is thirty five thousand five hundred and twenty pi centimeter cube which is nothing but thirty five thousand five hundred and twenty times three point one four centimeter cube right so that is nothing but triple one five three two point eight centimeter cube that is nothing but a lakh in eleven thousand five hundred and thirty two point eight centimeter cube therefore this is the total volume of the iron. So the total mass is going to be total mass of the iron pole will be equal to triple one five three two point eight times eight grams because because one centimeter cube is uh, weighs eight grams approximately. So so many centimeter cubes will weigh times eight. So that's going to be equal to. Eight lakh ninety two thousand two hundred sixty two point four grams or converting into kilograms divided by thousand we get eight hundred and ninety two point two six two four kgs so the total mass of the iron pole comes up to eight hundred and ninety two point two six two four kilograms so another very simple straightforward problem all we had to do was find the volume of the entire thing and then multiply it by the weight or the mass that the iron has for every one centimeter cube so that's all there is to do in this problem a very simple one so that ends this video i'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on surface areas and volumes of combinations of solids